Welcome back. There's a lot to get caught up on, so let's get started. Thanks for tuning in today. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button for me. It goes a long way for creators like myself. Yeah, so last time I was in Austin, Texas, and now I'm in California. And before that, I was living in Rhode Island. 2020 has been interesting, to say the least, for me, as I'm sure it has been for everybody. But let, let's just do a recap. Let's just uh, go back where all this began and how it's happened. It's a little hot in here, so. I think we're gonna go somewhere else, so let's do that. beards. Well, I was gonna go film at that swimming area, but there's just way too many people and um, it was really cold. Uh, I said cooler, but I didn't mean that. So as you guys know, I was living in Rhode Island at the beginning of the year and I was living at this bird sanctuary. At this point, I had no idea I was leaving until my birthday came around and I found out I was gonna move to Austin, Texas. Um, so I packed all my stuff and I stayed with a friend for the rest of my time in Rhode Island. What's up, Marcella? And when I started my drive, my first stop, I drove straight to North Carolina and I saw an old friend I haven't seen in forever. We got to play music, catch up on our lives, and we even made a music video. What's up, Whitney? Then I went down to Atlanta, Georgia, where I saw a new friend I haven't met before and we ate great food uh, the entire day and we had a lot of great conversation as well. What's up, Alex? From there, I took a bit of a detour from going to Texas and went straight up to my hometown in Springfield, Missouri, where I saw my family and I got to just spend some time and catch up with as many other people as possible too. Love you, fam. And from there, I started my drive straight down to the good old ATX. So I'd be living with my friends, Sean, Bobby, and Rowan and special shout out to Sergio too. This is where I really started my journey, my career in videography and photography, branding strategy, social media strategy, all this stuff really started to come together at this point in Austin where we just dived in all the time about so many different things. It was um, great, you know, the first time being in a big city, living there, it was crazy. Just great food everywhere, the excitement of like, there's gonna be lots of people and concerts and stuff. Um, but it, about two weeks in, I flew to Las Vegas with Rowan so we could film a promotional video. And that was huge, cause uh, yeah, it was, it was just a great opportunity. But that was like right when the pandemic started really coming together for the United States. And so right when we got back, that's when quarantine happened. More or less, we started off really great, focusing on fitness, focusing on the career, and focusing just on being like uh, a community together. And so much of that was good, but uh, we kind of are all adventures and went stir crazy. We ended up taking a few different trips around, but ultimately, um, some of us decided it wasn't best to live in a city, especially during quarantine. I cannot blame a person for that at all. At about that same time, a friend in California named Jetty, what's up Jetty? He needed someone to help him move from Santa Barbara to Santa Cruz and help him build like a man cave kind of uh, podcast studio. So um, Rowan was gonna go out there for a little bit. So I decided to tag along. And in this journey, we stopped at Big Bend. 
Um, I got to see a friend in Arizona, who I haven't seen in many years. What's up, Phil? Traveled on to California, and I got to see so many spots I've always wanted to see and spend so much great time there. And we helped Jetty move up north and Santa Cruz and started building, and it was great. I got to see a lot of California at that time. Uh, I got to drink from a freshwater spring that was a waterfall, that was really cool. I got to jump in the ocean for the first time that year and uh, I got to sleep in an airstream up in uh, Santa Cruz. And I found out that I was going to be coming back for various other reasons, but I still had obligations in Texas. So I flew home, built a studio there with my friend Sean and we I can't wait to use that studio, I'm so pumped. But from there, I drove all the way back. So I stopped in Colorado and visited uh, some old friends there. Congrats getting engaged, Ryan and Courtney. And then I went to the Tetons and I made a bunch of new adventurous friends that were also out there just looking to have a good time. One of them showed me how to shoot photos of the stars, which was just one of the coolest things. And I had one of the most like livid experiences of my life about never giving up um, and climbing a mountain to get like a shot of uh, the Tetons at the top. Um, but that's a whole nother story for another time. After that, I went down to Salt Lake City and visited a friend, Ryan Wilcox, who right now is traveling across the states on his bicycle, going from east to west. It's crazy, I'm so pumped for him but I got to stay with him while he's in Salt Lake. We ate great food. I helped him with a video so he could get some sponsorship. I left Salt Lake City and did a quick stop at the Bonneville Salt Flats, took some pictures, tried to do a levitating picture, but my, uh, my table gave out when I was on top of it, so I was kind of hesitant to keep trying. Uh, <laughs> did not feel good. And then from there, I went to Lake Tahoe where I saw an old friend from Missouri, what up Dimitri, and we had a great time. Uh, special appearance on Snapchat from my buddy Faisal, that was great too. And then um, made my way to Santa Cruz. Yeah, so what I can say is this trip, this year has been uh, all about travel, adventure, creativity, and most importantly, friends, friendship. And I don't think it would be like better without it. I wrote on my hand this word called philos, and it means love of friends and family. And it's a very particular kind of love. And I, I just think it's, it's one of the richest things that you could have in your life. To be honest, you know, it's probably one of the hardest things for me in my life is to get close to people. So um, I've been making every effort this year to make sure I do better and I become more involved in other people's lives and get to know them on a deeper level rather than just like a certain level where there's still like a, a back door open and I can just whoo, zoom out. They say wealth is what you have when there's no more money in the bank. And they also say, your net work is your net worth. And what I say is it's just better to have people around. So for all of you who have watched this video to the end, I just wanna say thank you and thank you for being interested in my life. And I can't wait to share more of it with you. Season three, episode one, out. <laughs>